In this presentation, we will set up a payroll item for health insurance, health insurance which will be employer paid so that we can compare and contrast it to vision and dental insurance, both being employee paid the way we set this up, one being before taxes, one being after taxes within QuickBooks. Here we for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you go to the view drop down and the open windows list. We will now be setting up another payroll item. We're going to go to the lists drop down to do so, and we're going to go to the payroll items, the payroll item list. If you're in the manual version, this is the paid version, then you, and you're in the manual version and you want to practice this, you might want to go to the employees and go to the payroll setup. And that'll give you more of an interview process in the paid version as this is then we get that interview process kind of here as we add the item so we're going to go to the payroll item at the bottom we're going to say that we want a new item and we're going to do the easy setup which is nice and go next in the easy setup we want to set up another insurance type item we're going to say next and it's going to give us a little wizard that's going to help us to set up the payroll item for insurance here is the little wizard that's going to help us set up this little questionnaire wizard. It's a questionnaire wizard. So we're going to set up, not the vision, we're going to set up the health insurance. So we've done dental, we've done vision. And these are all going to be similar in nature. So at, remember the next screen is going to give us kind of the differentiation that we've been uh, applying, which is, is the employer paying it or is the employee paying it or is both of them paying? Well, let's look at that now. We'll go to the next screen and we're going to say, okay, is, is the company paying for it? That's not, that's what we have not yet done. Or is the employee paying for it? That's what we have done. Notice the ones we set up for vision and dental. Once, if you were to click, this isn't what we're doing now, but I'm going to click it just to demonstrate. Last time, if we were to click that, we had these two options and we set up one vision, uh, after, which was payment deduction before taxes. And we set up the dental on this one payment deducted after taxes. And then we could have both the employer and, and company. I'm not going to do that one here because we're going to basically choose this one for the contrast. So now we're going to say that the company pays the entire thing. So the health insurance, the company pays. And then we had the dental insurance down here, which was uh, paid by the employee after taxes. And then we had the vision, which was paid by the employee before taxes. And now we're going to be here company pays for the entire thing with the health insurance so we're going to say okay next and we're going to just call this health insurance vendor this is who we would have to pay uh, once we collect the insurance or once we're going to pay the whole thing as the employer now so we, we would have to pay these people that's who we pay as the vendor next and then we're going to say finished once that is set up we should go to our items list and have a new item so we're back in our items list now. We should have a new item as we do down here. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. So we have the health insurance and the difference here is that it's company paid as opposed to the dental insurance up top, which is a deduction because it's, it's going to be paid by the employee taxable and the vision, which we set up, which was a deduction because it's paid by the employee and it's pre-tax. So now we have the, the health insurance, which is being completely paid by the employer, which is nice. So what we're gonna do now is, is set this up with our one employee. So we're gonna go to our employee center and we're gonna go to our in Anthony again. We're gonna say, hey Anthony, we got another benefit, another month, another benefit. And we're gonna go down to the payroll information. And Anthony says, great, this time you're paying for it. So I can't refuse that one. That's even better than the dental and vision that we set up last time here. Now we're going to set up the health insurance. So health insurance paid by the company. There we have that. We're going to say that that is, uh, let's say, uh, $110. We're just making that number up, but it's coming by the company, $110. And that will be that. Notice it's not coming out of, of the paycheck. What we're going to do now is then process the payroll. We'll be able to compare and contrast what's the difference when we add this health insurance compared to the payroll we ran last time, which didn't have health insurance, but did have the vision and dental. So we're going to say, okay, and then we'll do that.
next time. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.